everyone. I'm here in the high country of North Carolina, the Boone Blowing Rock area, and I thought I'd take a little time out from my vacation to check out the beer scene. Uh, back when I went to school here at Appalachian State in the early 2000s, there were no breweries in the area, and now they got a couple different ones. So I'm gonna go check them out and see what they got going on. It's such a beautiful day, we're gonna go ahead and take the scenic route. We started off in 2008. We were actually contract brewing out of Pennsylvania. We actually moved to uh, Blowing Rock, opened um, Ale House and Inn in June of 2013, and we opened this small five barrel specific mechanical setup in October of 2013. Our flagship beer was our High Country Ale, which is an American Pale Ale. Um, that does come out of Hickory, it's one of our uh, bigger selling beers. Um, at this facility, we're known for smaller batch beers. Um, some of our award-winning beers are our Czech style Pilsner, um, our Schwarz Lager beer. We also do a breakfast stout that's really popular as well. One thing you got to give Blowing Rock Brewing, they definitely got the fanciest bathroom I've ever seen in a brewery. So that's Blowing Rock Brewing, tucked back in a little alley in downtown Blowing Rock. You really got to look to find it, but it's a nice little place. So, on to the next brewery. And we are now in Boone. Hi, I'm Chris from the Appalachian Mountain Brewery here in Boone, North Carolina. And you're a uh, head brewer? I'm the head brewer here. Okay. Yep. How long have you been here? Uh, since the beginning, I was one of the founders of the brewery here back in 2011. Sean and Stephanie Spiegelman are the other two founders along with the brewmaster here, Nathan, who's my cousin. And so all four of us kind of got together and said, you know, Brune doesn't have a brewery right now. Doesn't look like there's anybody coming along to do it anytime soon. And it's a great opportunity. Uh, it's a great location up here in the mountains. It needs a brewery. A college town. Talk college about town. Okay. Uh, great. A lot of local support is a, actually has really been driving business for us here. And I think that goes hand in hand with our tenants of community and philanthropy and sustainability. And those have all really meshed well with the community that is, that's up here. Hey everyone, wanted to just break in for a quick second and let you know that the reason you're going to be hearing and not seeing the owner of our next brewery, Boonshine Brewing, is because the video file got corrupted and we ended up losing the footage. Fortunately, we had a backup microphone and so we were able to save the interview and that's what you'll be hearing. On another note, I also wanted to go ahead and let you know that these interviews in this episode were actually recorded a month before this episode is coming out. So for some of these breweries, Boonshine in particular, a lot might have changed. At the time we talked to Boonshine, they only had one beer available on tap. By the time this comes out, they'll probably have a couple more, and if you're watching it even further in the future, hopefully they'll have more than that. So, just want to go ahead and let you know, now that the housekeeping's out of the way, let's get on with the episode. We are Boonshine Brewing Company. Uh, here obviously in Boone, North Carolina. Mm -hmm. uh, we are just getting started. We've been uh, selling our beer for just a couple weeks now and mm -hmm. uh, building the brewery out. We have a tasting room next door at Basil's Fresh Pasta that we're partnering with. We're tapping in on things that make the high country shine, like the people, the community, the weather, you know, being able to walk down King Street on a summer day and it's 75 degrees up here versus, you know, 100 degrees off the mountain. Uh, you know, right. people come up here for adventure and the outdoors and just that feeling of all these things that make Boonshine is what we're trying to capture as a brand with Boonshine Brewing. Well, I am three breweries in, two more to go, and I gotta say I've been very happy with everything I've had so far. Uh, people up here really know what they're doing. Uh, so my next stop is Lost Province Brewing Company, so I'm headed over to King Street. So 
So apparently Lost Province is located on off Main Street, uh, somewhere around Mass General Store. And of course, there is no parking. All the time I've been in Boone, I've never had to pay for parking before. So, bitch. Alright, we got an hour. Let's find this place. I think we have a winner. That was surprisingly easy. My name is Aaron Moss. I'm a brewer here at Lost Province Brewing Company and located in downtown Boone, North Carolina. Seth and I were both working in the beer industry during the development of this brewery. Um, it's been, I believe, Andy's lifelong passion to have a brewery. Uh, and anytime you're doing something for that many years, over two decades, it becomes part of you. Right. And this was something that he had always planned on doing for a long time. You know, it's just kind of a dream sort of thing. And then. Finally, uh, he and his wife, Lynn Mason, uh, they got together, I believe started putting pen to paper and just started figuring out the logistics behind it all and decided that, hey, we can do this. Um, and I don't think they ever thought about doing it anywhere other than Boone, and they wanted to do it here. Both Seth and I were living in the area at that time. Um, and I mean, I, I hate to speak for Seth, but I think as soon as we talked with Andy and saw his future for this brewery, and how well thought out and planned it was going to be. We were both eager to be on board. We have 12 beers on tap. Um, at any given time, out of those 12 beers, usually four or five of them are what we call year-round beers. And so and then the rest of them are, you're gonna have one or two seasonals that they will rotate. And so every fall we'll have a pumpkin ale and every winter we'll have our winter warmer available. Uh, and then the remaining taps are dedicated to just one-off beers, something that we may never brew again, or it might be so popular it becomes one of our year-round beers. Well, I just finished hanging out at Lost Province Brewing Company. If you have a chance, if you're in the area, I def definitely recommend going there on Fridays to try their one-offs because some of these combinations they come up with are pretty wild and pretty good. So it is about five o'clock and I've hit up four different breweries. There's one more I wanted to go to. It's starting to get uh, crowded at the different tap rooms. It's gonna be hard to pull people away and get them to talk, find a quiet spot to talk in um, if they haven't left already. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, head home. That's it for Monday. I will definitely try to head over to that one last brewery sometime this week and give you guys a report on it. But for now, I'm going to call it a day. So hope you like what we've showed you so far, and I will see you guys later. All right, folks, it's a new day with a fresh start. Today we're heading over to Boondocks Brewing Company in West Jefferson. I'm Gary Brown, uh, founded uh, Boondocks Brewing in August of 2012, I'm um, also the, um, the brewer. We first started Boondocks uh, at the restaurant location, which is just right up the street, it's a block up the street. Our original goal there was to you know, just brew small batches, which we had a little small area, I was running the SAPCO system, uh, but we're really more focused on uh, bringing high quality food, high quality service good craft beer to, to this local community, which was not really a, a craft beer centric uh, community. And in, in the process, we, we really created uh, an awareness uh, of craft beer. We've probably got one of, if not the best craft beer selections uh, in the high country. Uh, we are also able to bring a lot of, lot of beers up the mountain that, that no one else can get. We're not in it just, just for the money. We're not doing any distribution or anything like that. If you want our beer, you need to come on up to the mountain and you know get a get a unique experience. So that does it for my visit with Boondocks, as well as my High Country Brewery tour. I got to give a big thanks to all the owners and brewers and managers and bartenders who helped me out along the way. I couldn't have put this episode together without them. They were all very generous with their time, their information, their beer. I really had a great time. And if any of you guys watching find yourself up in the high country, I recommend checking out any one of these guys. There's not a slacker in the bunch. So. That's it for our episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it, found it educational and entertaining. Um, but that's it for now. So anyways, I will see you next time.